a lot of times we have information or data scattered around in different sheets sometimes it could be monthly data it could be yearly data and whenever we want to perform analysis on this data combining the sheets seem to be an equivalent tax but not to worry microsoft excel has very simple effective and straightforward solutions for us so let's get started the first method we are going to use is the VStack function. So right here, I've opened my Microsoft Excel on the web. So VStack function works for Microsoft 365 for Windows and Mac and also Excel on the web. So if you don't have a Microsoft 365 subscription, you can use Excel on the web to combine your sheets together. Okay, so right here, I have this particular table. I have 2021 orders, 2022 and 2023 orders. And I want to combine these sheets together. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a table for this range of data. I'm just going to select on any cell of, within this data and click insert. Then I'll click table. So it's saying my table has headers. I'll click OK. I write on the table design. I'm going to click on it to rename this table. So I'll rename it to others 2021. Then I press enter. Then I'll go over to the next sheet, which is 2022 others, and also create a table for it. So I'll insert table, and then I'm going to select OK. Then under table design, I'm going to click on it and change the name to others 2022, and press Enter. So the essence of creating table is just to enable me perform my calculations easily, especially when I have a large data set like this. So you can also create for the third tables as many as many sheets as you have. Just create tables for them. I've created table for 2023 orders already. So what I'm going to do is to open up a new sheet right now. So on, on this new sheet, we are going to type an equal to sign and type a VStack function. So VStack is just going to vertically stack our arrays into one in a row-wise fashion. So I'm going to press the tab key. And the first array is going to be my orders 2021. Then the second array is going to be my orders 2022. Then the third array is going to be my orders 2023. So I'm going to select all of them, close the bracket and press enter. So you can see that VSTAC function has returned the combination of these three different tables. But if you notice, there is no header within the VSTAC function. So we don't know what the headers of each of these columns are. So we're going to fix that right now. I'm just going to undo this. And another thing we're going to fix is if you're combining tables that have different columns, the extra columns will have an NA error. So in order to fix that, we're going to wrap our Vista function within an if error function to fix that particular error. So what we're going to do, I'll come back to my cell A1. So I'll go ahead and type the if error function. I'll start by typing my equal to sign and type if error. The first argument, which is a value, is now going to be our VSTAC function. So I'm going to type VSTAC function. Then our first array, in order for us to fix the headers, I can go back to any of these three tables and select the headers. So I'll just go back to 2023 orders and then select this entire header. Then I'll put a comma sign. Then the second array is now going to be our orders 2021. The third array is going to be our orders 2022. Then our fourth array is now going to be our orders 2023. Then I'm going to close the bracket and put a comma sign. The second argument of the if error function, which says value if error, I'm going to add an empty string. Remember, you can add any character that you want to add to replace the NA errors. Then I'm going to close my bracket and press enter. Once I press enter, you can see that VSTAC function has returned a combination of these three tables but this time with the headers as well because we actually fixed the headers so this is how you can combine your multiple sheets together using the vstack function the next method we're going to use power query editor so let's head over to our excel desktop application Right here on my desktop application, I'm using Excel 2021 so right here I already have the same data set here so we have orders 2021, 2022, and 2023. 
in order for us to combine these sheets together i'm just going to open up a new workbook by pressing ctrl n on this new workbook we are going to click on data tab and then select get data then we'll select from file and from excel workbook then you're going to open the location of your file and select that particular file then you click to open Right here on this navigator dialog box, these are the tables within that particular Excel workbook. So since we want to select multiple items, I'm going to select this box and then I'll select others 2021, 2022 and 2023. Then I'll click to transform data. Once I click to transform data, my Power Query editor will open up. So you see that we have the three different queries right now and what we're going to use is append queries so this append queries is going to concatenate rows from different tables together so you can come over to where you have the combined group and select this once you select you can see append queries the first one is just going to use one table and append the other two tables to it but we want to append queries as new we want all of them to append as a new table so i'm going to select append as new and on this dialog box, I'm going to select three or more tables. The first table has been added already, so I'm going to select the second one and add. Select the third one and also add. Then I'll click OK. Right here, we have a new table, which is the combination of these three tables. So I can come here and quickly double click to change the table. So we can call this sales data. Then I'm going to save it. Once I'm done with that and I want to load it into my Microsoft Excel table, I can come over here and select close and load. So we have two options. Close and load to is going to give you other options like if you want to load to pivot table or add it to data model. So but yeah, I just want to load it to an Excel table so I can just use close and load to. Once I load this data, you can see that it has returned all the queries, including the combined data. Remember, we renamed it to sales data. And right here on the right pane, you're going to see a queries and connection pane, which is going to show these different sheets that was used to create this particular sales data. So that is the first way. There's another way you can combine tables, which is merging queries so merging queries you have to merge them through columns most times you can use vlookup function or you can even use index math but that can be very complex in order to do that let's say we want to we can just click back on our sheets one and since we already have power query editor open before i'll just click on data and then select get data then we'll come over here and click to launch the power query editor once we launch the Power Query editor, I'll just come over to our new query and under recent sources, I'm going to select the same Excel sheet. I'm going to select it. And on this navigator dialog box, I'm going to select multiple items. Then I'll now select the first table and I'll select the second one, which is the product table. Then I'll click OK. So you see for our product table, product table has only product key and product name column. For our others table, so this other table contain others, but we only have product key column right on this table. So we want to combine this table to extract the product name and add it to this particular table. In order to do that, right on this particular table, I'll come over to merge queries. So you can merge queries as new, but for this one, we just want to merge the queries, two queries together. So I'm going to select merge queries and it's going to open up this table. This is the first table. I'm going to click here to select the second table, which is my product table. Then I'll come over to, I'll just select the product key for the product table and I'll scroll down to where I have the product key and select it for the first table. So you have to select tables that have matching columns when you want to create a match table. Then right now the selection has been matched together and I'm just going to click OK. So once I click OK, this is the result of the match table. It has shown a table here as part of the column. In order to expand this, I'll just click this icon and on select all the columns. Remember, I want to extract only the product name. I don't want 
both product key and product name because we already have a product key in this table i'm just going to unselect that and select the product name and then click ok once you click ok you can rename the table just quickly double click and rename the table call it product name and your column has been renamed you can even reorder this particular column then you can also use the same method of close and load to and load it to your excel table to perform your analysis and visualization or you can load your data to power bi and use advanced techniques to perform data visualizations if you want to know how to get started with power bi you can watch this video or if you have some knowledge of power bi and you want to take it a step further you can watch this particular video these two videos are going to give you real hands-on experience and greater knowledge on how to use certain features on power bi in order to create a robust and well detailed visualization thank you so much guys for watching this video